my camera is slightly tilted and my tripod will not work with me, but it's okay. Today I'm going to do something that I've been avoiding for over half a year. I'm going to stain this um, recliner with black leather dye. I like this recliner. This is kind of like, my idea is for this to be like my reading chair, but I just not the biggest fan of this shade of brown it's too red um and then like the floor is also a red brown so it's just a little too much brown and i love black so um i'm gonna stain this black i got this stain off of ebay so this is the dye and then after you put the dye and i'm hoping this is enough if it's not i can just buy more this is only like eight dollars um then you put this and it this is like what seals the 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 dye so it doesn't like come off so there's a lot of surface to cover especially with it being a recliner because this obviously extends out um but i don't know if i want this to be it's like permanent place i don't like reading in this corner because I really prefer to read next to a window, so I'm trying to decide if I want to rearrange the living room. But today I'm going to start with this leather dye. I thought I would do it before I redo my nails because this could ruin them, even though I should probably wear gloves. But I'm very excited to do this. I'm nervous because I don't want to mess up because this is feels like a surreal leather couch. <laughs> but I would rather have a black couch than this red brown so we're just gonna do it and um hopefully it turns out okay this came with a little tiny it came with this little fluff ball because i think this is more meant or this is meant to apply to like shoes or something small where you're just like adding some black dye back into something but i have seen people cover um like car seats with this um and larger items but i don't think this would take me forever <laughs> to, to use this on there so i'm gonna look up i'm thinking like a little cotton um towel or a piece of a towel i might cut one up and um i'm gonna also like wipe this off and make sure it's like clean first but that's what we're gonna do today the smart thing to do would probably be to put something under this thing but I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna have to lift this. And another smart thing to do would be to test this on an area that you can't see very well. Like I'm not gonna start on the most visible part of the couch. I think I might do a little test on the back. <laughs> um, but I mean, there's no reason why this shouldn't work. If anything, I'm just worried I don't have enough dye because I have I think I was picturing this bottle like a lot larger when I bought it like a year ago, half a year ago. So, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I want this to be black, but I don't want to mess it up. I've been procrastinating. I'm just going to do it.
Okay, I covered the whole surface and I know it looks really streaky. I think this sealer is gonna help kind of eliminate some of the streaks. And it's, it's funny, I started using that stuff and then I was like, why isn't this working? <laughs> I realized I was using the wrong dye. So, the, I have very little dye left and the back of the seat is not, I haven't dyed that yet. So I am gonna have to buy another bottle. I wanna leave the rest of this dye for any spots that I missed. It's very overcast right now and the lighting in here, even though I have a lot of lights on, I can't see everything really well. So I'm afraid of sealing it and then realizing that there are spots that I missed. So I'm gonna wait and I'm hoping the sun will come out so that I can see a little bit better, but it looks so much cooler black and it'll look better once the streaks are gone. But I did realize that using this thing actually helped a lot. I wish this was just larger and I'm sure they sell larger little puff balls like that, but the paper towel cloth was did not work very well. And then I have just like a little piece of cotton cloth and it was working, it works pretty well, but that thing for some reason just really seems to saturate the, the dye, so. I'm gonna leave it for now and see if there are any spots that I missed. I went to Target and I got this lamp. It was on sale half off and I, I wanted this when it was, before it was discounted and then I saw that it was discounted the other day and I didn't get it and I was like, you know what, let me go get it and I can always return it. It was the last one and you could tell someone was hiding it because it was like behind other things, but I got it. <laughs> so we'll see if I like this. And then I got the next book. This is not the book I'm like, super excited to read. Like I had another book in mind to get. Today I realized I'm gonna end up getting this book eventually anyway, even though it's not like the next book I wanted to read. And so I got it and um, I wanna read it while the story is still fresh in my mind instead of reading it further down the road and I forgot, so got this.
All right, my hair is all wet because I'm gonna cut it. Now, I got my hair trimmed last week and I'm really happy with like how much healthier it's feeling. And I just think the straight, blunt look, I think it suits me. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to cut my bangs. Now, I have bangs, but, and, and I'm actually ready to grow them out. <laughs> but what I want is to have more bangs before they're all grown out. Like, it makes sense in my mind. Like, I'm not necessarily gonna cut them shorter. I just want more. Cause when I'm styling my bangs, which I do like, I just feel like I don't have very much, like when I cut my bangs, I cut the minimum amount. Like I cut very little. And lately I just want to have more and then have it all grow out. But while it's still short, I wanna have more bangs. So I'm gonna cut my bangs and I'm gonna follow a free salon education this video. Um, and he cuts it with a razor, which is what I'm gonna do. So and I'm gonna pull quite a bit of hair forward for my bangs. Not quite a bit, but just like more than I have right now. Okay, so this is how much I had already. This is so much I already have. So I'm not pulling a ton forward. It doesn't, it looks like a lot when I parted it. Like that looks pretty far back. But when I look at how much I actually pulled, it's not very much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to follow his video. Is he brings all the hair forward. And he twists it to the left. <laughs> Look really funny here. He twists it to the left and then he uses the razor and slides it down. And this is for side bangs. Like I just want, because I've been wearing my bangs to the side, and I just want I just want more bangs. So I'm gonna watch this video one more time <laughs> and then I'll, I'm gonna slice it. Okay, I've watched this video like 20 times. He twists it to the left, and that would be if you want your bangs to slide to the right. <laughs> and he did it over, an over twist. And then he took his razor, and he starts up here, and then he just slides it down. And I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm going to start low because I can always go higher, but I'm going to start at like my eye level. I need a new razor. <laughs> um.
<laughs> I... <laughs> um, I like it. I just might need to still take some weight off. I feel like it's still kind of heavy right here. I like this side more. It's kind of PC and like not perfect on this side, which is what I wanted, which is the whole point of the twist and using the blade is that it's supposed to give you a very kind of uneven look as opposed to like a straight cut with the scissors. But this side I'm still working on. I don't know, I do, I do need a new razor. I tried sharpening it and I don't know if that just made it more dull, but when I pushed down harder on it, it did work better. I feel like my hair also just looks like really flat right now, but I just cut more hair so that I have more bangs to work with, more hair to style before it's all grown out.
afternoon. Today I thought we could talk about my February books. This year I want to read one fictional book a month and I met that goal in January. I made this goal at the end of January and in February I read two books and this month I'm reading quite a few books. So I'm really enjoying reading this year. I have too many books on my reading list. I went to Barnes & Noble yesterday and they didn't have a book that I really wanted. The books that I read in February were The Girl on the Train and A Court of Mist and Fury. So A Girl on the Train, I started this last summer and I just couldn't get into it. I really wanted to read this book because I really liked the movie and it was the kind of movie that you watch and you really wish you'd read the book first. So I knew I wanted to read the book even though I already know what happens because usually I'll watch the movie and be like, well, it's too late. I don't want to read the book. But I bought the book. I started it. I probably got like two or three chapters in and stopped. Last summer I bought books and just could not get into them. But I finished it in February. Um, I read like most of it in February and I really liked it. It was very similar to the movie. The movie is based in um, the US. This is based in the UK so there were some differences. And I did feel, and I could be wrong, I, it's been a while since I've seen the movie, but I feel like the book villainized Anna a lot more than the movie. Like in the book, I was like, oh, she's kind of a terrible person. <laughs> um, and I actually don't like a lot of the characters in this book because they're terrible. But the book was so like, every chapter you wanted to keep reading because it, it's, it's a thriller. It's really exciting. You want to know what happens, even though I knew what happened. Um, I really enjoyed the book. Normally I don't enjoy books that switch characters because it can feel very choppy. Like like you're you're reading from one character's point of view and then when you switch to another character sometimes it can like take you out of that headspace. I don't know. I've read other books where I just I I did not enjoy switching between characters, but this one it just made more sense to switch the characters because you're getting their point of view from the same like what's happening <laughs> to these people in this story it, it made sense so it didn't feel like every chapter when you switch characters it like stopped the flow of the book which has just been the case from uh, for other books that i've read so i really enjoyed it even though i knew what happened i was still like <laughs> Uh, rushing through the book to see what happened at the end. I will say I feel like the end of the movie the same thing happens at the end but I feel like I enjoyed the end of the movie more than I enjoyed the end of the book. Like the very last scene I feel like the movie was more like oh my gosh whereas the book I didn't really like how it like kind of wrapped up where he admitted to everything he did. There was just more like climax in the movie I felt. But it was a really good book. I was really glad I finished it because that book has been haunting me. It's just been like in my bookshelf in my guest bedroom and I've just been like, I have to finish that book. The second book that I read was The Court of Mist and Fury. This was a really good book. It's so interesting. All the tabs are really ugly because I need to switch them out to the nice tabs. But it was super interesting how the end of the first book ended and how this book started. Like there was a really big shift in the the plot and the story and that was really exciting how I was like what in the world when I started reading this book and there was a lot more character development in this book. I really like how the characters changed or our perspective of different characters changed. This was super super good. Um, I know everyone likes this one more than the first. I don't think I do though. I really like them both, but the first one just still like holds a place in my heart. I still feel like I, I enjoyed I enjoyed them both, but I think I still like the first book more. But this one was really, really good. I like this one more than third, but I'll talk about the third one next month. <laughs> um, but I just, I love the character development. It was a romance. This one was more romantic than the first one and I just couldn't put it down. It was so good. Farah is now a fae and she's figuring out all her powers. I loved that. I love that she's learning all of her abilities that she now has from the first book. It was really exciting to learn all those things that she now 
can do like she's powerful because she has all these powers from the different um high lords so it was, it was really cool I, I feel like there wasn't a point in this book where i was like will it end like i i felt like the whole book was good so this series is good especially the first two books and i enjoyed this one i don't think this would be a favorite book um just because the characters are like ugh, like ugh. the characters are so frustrating but the book is exciting how it's written but like the women in this book oh my gosh <laughs> I am so excited to talk about my books that I've been reading this month because I've really been enjoying the books I read this month and I've read quite a few more and I don't really want to like review books because I don't feel like I'm, I'm qualified to do that but I just wanted to talk about the books that I enjoyed or the books that I read that month because there are so many good YouTubers that like are so good at explaining the book and have way more experience reading tons of books so. I think I'm gonna get back to the High Mountain Court. It's so good. It is so funny. When I started reading this book, The High Mountain Court, this is like a recommended book if you like this series. And there are some things in both of these books, I'm like, oh yeah, that's similar, but they are very different. Um, and I, I like that they're different. But I felt like I was like <laughs> betraying this series. <laughs> this book you like become so invested in these characters lives and their story and then i was like i feel like i'm like betraying those books when i'm learning about other fae and the witches <laughs> in this book so it was it was kind of funny that i was like i need to this is ridiculous i'm so glad i found this one at barnes and noble i was searching everywhere for it and the lady took me to the science fiction section that's where it was but i was looking under fantasy and young adult and I was like, that seems like that's where this book would belong, like under fantasy, but it was in the science fiction section. It was the only one. And I did buy it, even though the book is like, it was all bent here and it's bent in the front, but I didn't want to wait for it to come in the mail because I finished my other book. And uh, so I, I'm enjoying it. And I was really excited that they did have it, even though it was the last one. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get back to my book and eat dinner.